You know, if you have a good idea about starting a business or something like that, and you don't really know what the heck you're doing, you know, and you wish you were an expert in this, or an expert in accounting, or an expert in, you know, marketing, or public relations, or filling out business plans, or getting grant money and stuff like that, well, how would you like to get $10,000 to $20,000 worth of free consulting to help you with all that. <laughs> it's available. The next interview, you'll see this young woman and her sister got together and wanted to start a business making, you know, laptop bags, bags for laptops that are, you know, sexier than all those black you know, <laughs> leather things that, that they sell in stores. And so they went and got this kind of help to start a business. And, and now what they're doing, I mean, their, their laptops are, you know, uh, Apple stores and Staples, Dell, uh, and, and all over the country that they sell big contracts like this to, and where they start it in their bedroom, you know, <laughs> trying to figure this thing out, but finally did and got free help to do it. That's right. Any obstacle, you know, that's in your way or in your mind, real or imagined, you know, you can get free help to get over that obstacle. And this young lady will tell you how they did it. And what she said, it, it's such a pity that people have all these ideas and they don't do anything about it. And then, you know, a year from now, somebody else did it and they hurt and they, oh, I thought of that first. Well, ideas, nothing. <laughs> unless you do something about it. And if you're stuck on how to get help to do something about it, it's out there. So watch this, and she'll show you how she got the free help, because you could do it too. It's for everybody. Watch. And your name? Emily McHugh. Emily McHugh. And what's the name of your business, Emily? It's called Kasori. Kasort? Kasori, C-A-S-A-U-R-I, -S right. where style and technology click. We're tired. Okay. Now, so you do these bags, huh? Yeah, my sister Helen and I, we design the bags. And Wonderful. How long have you been in business? Ten years. Ten? That's terrific. Oh, well, then you're finally over the hump, huh? <laughs> yeah, it is tough, isn't it? It's yeah. actually a class project in business school. Honest to goodness. Where'd you go to business school? Columbia Business School. Columbia Business School. So you, you and your sister were both in school together? My sister went to FIT, Fashion uh -huh. Institute of Technology, I see. and uh -huh. I went to Columbia. I see. And this was uh, an idea you had in school? Yeah, because we were tired of all the boring laptop yes. bags. And yes. No disrespect. They were all masculine. I understand. So in other words, so what you had this brainchild, you know, in school, you and your sister started out, and now you're in... Office Depot? Well, we're working to get in there. We're going to be on their website. Wow. Their catalog. Ah, good for you. So, and it takes 10 years sometimes to do that, doesn't it? It does. But we're also on Apple. We're currently on Apple.com. Wow, that's terrific. Right there. We're trying to get into the Apple store. I see. <laughs> so how long, I mean, as a, an entrepreneur, how long does it really take to get you know, to get going. I mean, everybody thinks, you know, by next Thursday I'm going to be a millionaire, and that doesn't happen in life, does it? Well, this is the good news. You can be an entrepreneur any time of the day, any day of the week. Right. You can start in your bedroom, which is where I began, uh -huh. and you just start with the first step until you get to the next step. Yeah. Now, the money part, okay, that takes time yes. to build the relationships and build right. the contacts, and all the companies that we're currently working with, it took many, many years. Yeah. It, uh, I mean, I see that. I've been in business 20, 30 years, and, you know, in the beginning, thank God, I was dumb. <laughs> Absolutely. That's how life and you is. You read 100 books on starting a business, but there's always yeah. one more lesson that you have to learn on yes, your own. Yes, absolutely. And they're the best if you learn on your own because it really. And, and it may be different for you anyway, no matter what somebody else tells you. I'm sure you've done things people said were stupid to do, and it worked for you. Yeah, and sometimes. <laughs> Not, <laughs> Absolutely. You know, we try it and pray yeah. prayer. We just pray to God every yeah. day to, to get through. Yeah. But, you know, here at the conference, we have all these wonderful suppliers like we just right. signed on with Dell. Really? And, wow. Yes. So we're looking to wow. be on Dell.com. Oh, good for you. Huh? And it's been coming to yeah. the shows and meeting the representatives. We've made right. the contacts. Yeah. And so and then until, until it comes on to fruition. So wow. and, I, and of course our site kasori.com. <laughs> Please people go visit right. kasori.com. Right. And oh, give that's us a, feedback and so yeah. on. So what would you say, I mean, to the person in his bedroom now or her bedroom now thinking about, gee, you know, should I or shouldn't I and, and what kind of advice can you give them? 
Okay. How would you feel if someone else came up with your idea? Yes. Said, you know, I thought of that first. Well, if you did, do something about yeah. it. Yeah. And don't be the one sitting on the sidelines saying, you know, I wish I had. I had the idea. You had the idea. But it doesn't yeah. matter if you have the idea. If you don't do anything with it, ideas don't matter. Exactly. So get up, do something with it. At yeah. least try. Yeah. You know. The worst can happen is you fail and you get another lousy job you hate. <laughs> no, well, why should you settle? I mean, yeah, exactly. It's not easy. Yes. It's a lot of fun, but it's more hard work. Yeah. It's it's grueling. But you know, to me, I don't know why people want to have easy work. Easy work sounds boring. It is. Well, that's the whole point. You can't have it all. Make yeah. A decision. Yeah. And, and hard work is wonderful. I mean, it's sort of like oh, if you if you play basketball against a five-year-old, that'd be easy, right? But that wouldn't oh, be any okay. fun. Well, <laughs> well, yeah. yeah, but yeah, sure. but I mean, to me, life is trying to g see how good you are, how much you could do, not how much you can't do. You. <laughs> well, exactly. I mean, not just how much you can get away with, is what yeah. you can push yourself to another exactly. level of right. excellence yeah. or challenge yourself. Right. You and know? that's what entrepreneuring does to me. It challenges you. It you have challenges you to the core. Yeah, absolutely. And every fiber of your being. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the fun part. I'm pushing you out of frame. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it is. It's very yeah. rewarding. And just for people to respond and to see, yeah. you know, the results of what you're doing. Yeah. You think no one's noticing. Right. And all of a they, sudden, wow, right. it means something yeah. to someone else. Yeah. So it makes it more worthwhile yeah. Yeah. Well, to wonderful. keep going. And, yeah. um, and what would you say the first place for help, you think, that would people oh, should go? Absolutely. The SBA, the Small Business yeah. Administration, they're the SCORE counselors uh -huh. for volunteer right. um, business people who can give free advice to small right. businesses. I went to SCORE quite a bit. Also, the Small Business Development Center, Center right? CDC. Absolutely. We have them on our site. We show you about those. Yeah. Excellent resources. Yeah. See, they're free, right? And they're free. Otherwise, you go on Google and you get some consultant and charge you no, 10000 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> with consultants at all. Yes. Okay, no disrespect. It's yes. at the right time and yes. you can afford it. But initially, get as much free help as you can. Yeah, and it's and there. See, that's what I'm trying to do is show people don't spend money. You don't have extra money to spend on these professionals yet. Well, see, try to see how much you can do it yourself yes. and have some self confidence. Yes. Many of us, when we're starting, we doubt every little thing. Yes. Oh, no, I, I can't do that. But yes, you can. Just yeah. try it. You just ask. Yeah, I can't, can't get an office depot. You ask. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. They're right here. They put on their pants like everybody else. Yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. just don't be shy. And yeah. It may not happen the first time. You just keep banging away. Yes. I remember it took me like a year and a half to get on the Home Shopping Network. Yeah, and then when I finally did, I was going to go down and sell 30,000 books in two days, yeah. And you can't do that anywhere else. But it took a year and a half. Yes. And that's why I think if you f follow your heart and do what you really want to do, you'll stay there if, if something fails the first time. And you hang in there. Yes. 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 And as I said, pray. It's, it's a miracle. <laughs> I mean, entrepreneurship. Yeah. I mean, we can sit here yeah, right. I did this and yeah, I did right, right. Prayer on the knees. Exactly, and just keep at it. Well, thank you so much. You're a delight. Yeah. Isn't she great? <laughs> See, and she used the government to start. See, it's there. It's there for you. Pay the taxes. Right. Might as well get your, your fair share. Exactly. See you next time.